Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Great Crossings High School here in Georgetown, Kentucky for the seventh grade contest of the 2022 KYMSFA Battle of the Regions. First game today saw Region 2 defeat Region 4, 28 to nothing. That was your eighth grade contest. And coming up in the seventh grade contest right now, we have Region 2 taking on Region 4. Both teams are taking the field. Region 4 will receive the opening kickoff of the contest. Mateo Granadas to kick off for Region 2. Turned into a beautiful day, not a, nearly as cold as yesterday. As the opening kick hits at the 30, bounces out of bounds at the 25-yard line. So Region 4 will take over, first and 10 from their own 35-yard line. So nine-minute quarters in seventh-grade games. The first game lasted two hours and 16 minutes. I think that set a new world record for middle school football. Snap is back to give on the inside. He's got some running room. He's at the 50. Catch his number as soon as we can. That's number eight, Kaysen Brock. Seventeen yard pickup. Trey Pearson in at quarterback for Region Four. He's going to keep it himself. And he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. That's a three yard loss. Taj Bess in on the stop for Region 2. Number one, Taj Bess. Trey Pearson on the run. Taking down the backside by Taj Bess. It brings up second and 12. Second and 12 now for Region 4. Two receivers split to the near side, one to the far side. Pearson takes the snap. He hands it off to number 30, Jude McWhorter. And he is going to pick up enough for the first down. Number 30, McWhorter on the run. Gain of 11 on the play, which will result in a first down. Region 4. First and 10. Region 4, the ball is at the 38-yard line. So Brock and McWhorter, both good runs to start this drive. Two receivers near side, two to the far side. Screen pass is incomplete. That was intended for Case and Brock. So Pearson brings in the play from the sideline. Takes the snap. Pass to the far sideline is complete. Down inside the 20 to the 18 yard line. Pearson pass is complete. 
Try to find the number. That game was good enough for a first down. A first and ten from eighteen yard line. Two receivers near side. Pearson keeps it himself, finds a hole. He's at the fifteen. He cuts at the ten. At the five. He's going to take it into the end zone for the touchdown. Touchdown. Trey Ford. Pearson takes it in from eighteen yards out. And Region 4 gets on the board first. 6 nothing. your score. Six thirty-five left in the first quarter. 6 nothing. your score. As they line up to go for the two-point conversion. Two receivers split right. Pearson. Hands off. That's Brock. He's in. Two-point conversion is good. Your score, 635 remaining first quarter, region 4-8, region 2-0. We'll be right back. Eight nothing your score. Welcome back in to Great Crossings High School. Region four just got on the board. Kickoff is taken at the thirty. Across the thirty-five, and he'll be gang tackled right there. Kick taken by number twenty-two, Michael Logan. Michael Logan on the return for Region Two. Caden Mack in at quarterback from JCTMS. He turns. He hands to Logan, who's hit at the 37 and falls forward to the 38. So that's going to be a gain of one. Peter's in at quarterback now. He tosses to Logan. And again, he's hit. Another short gain. Let's see where they mark it. Gain of one yard on the play. So it'll be third down and eight. So Caden Mack now back in. They've been alternating series with Caden Mack and Lucas Akers. And a high snap over his head. It's in the backfield, and he just falls on it. But he's going to lose yardage all the way back to the 21-yard line.
So fourth down and long. Punting unit comes on. Pretty good kick. It's going to hit and go out of bounds right at the 49-yard line. So that's where Region 4 will take over. First and 10 for their second drive of the game. Five oh two remaining here in the first quarter. Eight nothing your score. Region four on top of Region two. Two receivers far side. One to the near side. Boone God be in at quarterback now. Loss of. Five yards on that play. Clay Akins on the carry. Colton Young split wide to the right. The give is to Aikens again. He's got some running room. Makes a move. He's still on his feet. He's going to take it across the 35 down to the 34-yard line. Big run by Aikens that time. So Region 4 has things moving again as they have it first and 10 in Region 2 territory down at the 34-yard line. The give is to Kaysen Brock. He's got some room. He's at the 15, 10, 5, not going to be touched. Takes it in for his second touchdown of the day. Kaysen Brock, 34 yards. Into the end zone. 14 nothing. your score with the two-point conversion pending. Brock takes the snap, looking to throw. He's going for the end zone for his tight end, Young. And it falls incomplete off of his hands. Two-point conversion, no good. With a score of 14 to nothing. 14-0, your score, 356 remaining in the first quarter. We'll be back right after this.
And welcome back in. 14 nothing your score. Region 4 on top. As the kickoff is muffed. Kickoff has been covered. But it is covered up by Region 2. So they'll take over first and 10 from their own 31. Lucas Akers in at quarterback now. He takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself. Design quarterback run. And he is hit and driven backwards. Fumble on the play. Recovered by Region 4. So... After that turnover, it'll be first and 10. Ball will be placed at the 29-yard line. So Region 4 will have it. Already leading 14 to nothing, 345 left in the first quarter. Snap is back, looking to throw. He's going deep. Incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Pass by Gunnar Holbrook. That pass was intended for number 18, Wyatt Peters. The give on the inside, penalty markers coming in. That was Trey Person. Personal foul face mask against Region 2. Personal foul face mask against Region 2. So that's going to be a 15-yard penalty and they'll mark it from the end of the run so that will go from the 25 down to the 10 where it should be first and goal half the distance to the goal so it goes down to the 13 yard line Snap is back, looking to throw. Going for the end zone. Man out there, he caught that ball. What a catch. That was Ryder Bell. Pass from Gunnar Holbrook. Gunnar Holbrook from Fleming Neon. Finds Ryder Bell in the end zone from 13 yards out. Outstanding throw, unbelievable catch. Just needed one foot down. He got both of them down. So 20 to nothing your score right now. Two-point conversion pending. 319 remaining. And the conversion is no good. So 20 to nothing your score. We'll be right back.
And welcome back. Kickoff taken by Region 2. He's hit immediately at the 44-yard line. Hudson DeGarmo on the return for Region 2. Mack gives to Michael Logan, who's got some running room. He's at the 35-30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Region 2. Michael Logan takes it into the end zone. 56 yards out. So just like that, Region 2 answers. Lucas Anchors in at quarterback. The turn, the toss to Logan. Who kind of just casually strolls into the end zone. So with 258 remaining, your score, Region 420, Region 2 on the scoreboard with eight. We'll be right back. And welcome back in onside kick attempt. It's loose and it's recovered by Region 2. Onside kick recovered by Region 2. So after falling behind 20 to nothing, Region 2 showing signs of life. So they'll be in Region 4 territory. Two fifty four remaining still in the first quarter. Caden Mack is your signal caller. And penalty marker on the field. Indication is a delay of game. So back them up five yards. Mack looking to throw, lofts it out there, and it's almost intercepted. It's tended for number 84, Vanden Smith from Connor. So second and 15 now. Turn the toss to Hunter Stevens. He's got some running room across the 50. Gets back just past the original line of scrimmage. Gain of about six yards on the play. Hudson Stevens on the carry. Mm -hmm. 
Mac takes, turns, gives. That's Logan. He's caught in the backfield. They give him forward progress. So it's going to be fourth. Fourth down and nine. And they're keeping the offense on the field. Akers in at quarterback. It's over his head, but he brings it in, but he is brought down hard at the 39-yard line. If he had on Once he was able to grab a hold of it, he turned around and was right. Someone was right in his face. He had no room to move. So Region 4 now takes over. First and 10. It's a turnover on downs. Ball be placed in Region 2 territory at the 40. Snap is back. The give is to number 30, Jude McWhorter. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Caden Hubbard is in at quarterback now. He's from Clay County. Hubbard takes the snap. He tries to hand it off. Nowhere to go with the football, and he is swarmed under at the 44-yard line. So this is our third quarterback that we're seeing. End of the first quarter with region four on top and that's going to do it for period number one. At the end of one, your score, region four, 20, region two, eight. We'll be right back. And welcome back. Little halfback pass. That's McWhorter throwing down the field, and that's incomplete, intended for Boone Godby. So fourth down and 14.
Two receivers split wide to the right. One to the near side. Hubbard tosses to McWhorter. Got some running room at the 35. 30 just short of the first down. We'll see where they mark it. And they're marking it short of the 30-yard line, which was the line to gain. So that will be a turnover on downs, and Region 2 will take over at their own 31-yard line. Twenty to eight, Region Four on top of Region Two. In the first game today of the eighth grade contest, it was Region Two twenty-eight nothing over Region Four. Snap is back. The give to Stevens. Picked up five yards on that carry. Give on the inside handoff. That's Hudson Stevens again. He's close to a first down, about a yard short. Give him four yards on the carry. Caden Mack checking in now as quarterback. Matt comes under center, turns, gives. That's Logan. And he's going to pick up the first down. He, he is out to the 46-yard line. Gain of six on the play. So that moves the chains. First and 10 now for Region 2, 7-12, moving clock here. Second quarter. And we have a timeout called by Region 2. So with that, we'll take one as well. We'll be right back. First down and 10. Akers tosses to Logan. Looking for room on the outside, but he is wrapped up and driven backwards. Logan on a run. With good tackle by number 22, Jaden Justice. No gain on a carry. Justice on the tackle for Region 4. Second down and 10. Mack comes up under center. Penalty marker on the field. 
That's going to be offside. Five yard penalty. On defense, five yard penalty. Be second and five. Take it down to the forty nine yard line. Mac turns, gives to Logan. Logan dancing, still on his feet. Across the forty down to the thirty eight yard line. going to be a gain of 10 yards. Give to Logan again. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage. We'll see if they give him anything after that. Picked up two. Second down and eight. So Mack and shotgun. One receiver split to the far side. Now we have motion right to left. Started to toss it to Stevens. Keeps it himself. Looking for the sideline and couldn't get the corner. He is going to pick up three yards. They'll mark him at the 35-yard line. Region 2 looking for the horse collar tackle call, which did not come. Stevens moves from the right side to the left side of Mack. Stevens out there lead blocking. There's going to be a holding penalty on this, so this is coming back. That was Lucas Akers on the run. That's going to be holding on Stevens. We have holding against Region 2. That'll be a 10 yard penalty from the spot. Brings up third down and about 15. Acres. Correction, Matt keeps it himself. He's got some room around the right side. Steps out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Inside the 30 at the 29-yard line. Depending on the spot, that's very close. They're moving the chain, so that is another first down picked up on this drive by Region 2. Clock is stopped with 4-11 remaining. 20-8 to eight your score. Region 4 on top in this one. Akers, hands to Hudson, bounces it to the outside, runs into his own man, makes one miss, still on his feet at the 25, 20, lowers his shoulder and goes down to the 18-yard line, going to be another first down. Up 
under four minutes now. First and ten from the 18-yard line. Five seconds. Timeout called by Region 2. That play clock was under five seconds. So with that, we'll take one as well. 20 to 8, your score. Region 4 on top in this one. We'll be right back. Oh, he falls down, stepped on the center, stepped on his foot as he tried to come out of there with it. Lucky to hang on to the football. It's going to be a loss of two yards. Second down and 12. Lucas Akers checking back into the game at quarterback. Acres up under center. Penalty marker on the field. False start. Second and 17 now. 2.53 left in the second quarter. Turn, the give, that's Logan. He's got some running room. He spins, still on his feet, and he just accelerates and leaves everyone in the dust, takes it into the end zone from 25 yards out for the touchdown, Region 2. Logan on the run for a touchdown, Region 2. 25-yard run. So after Region 4 jumped out to an early 20 to nothing lead, Region 2 has answered with back-to-back -back scores. 20 to 14 at this point with the two-point conversion pending. Mack is in. The toss right side. That's Hudson Stevens. He's stiff legs one and takes it into the end zone. So that two-point conversion is good. 2.43 remaining in the second quarter. Your score, Region 4, 20. Region 2, 16. We'll be right back.
And welcome back. We have, uh, just to let you guys know what's going on, we have a delay. There's an issue with the chains. So as soon as we find out a little bit more information about it, we will come back on and let you know. But your score, 20 to 16, 243 remaining here in the second quarter. Region 4 on top of Region 2. Be back in a minute. And welcome back in. We have the chain issue fixed, and we are ready to resume action. 2.43 remaining here in the second quarter. Region 2 kicking off to Region 4. Toe to leather ball is in the air. It is taken at the 28-yard line. Turn to the 40, 45, 50, down to the 48-yard line. Jude McWhorter on the return. Takes it into Region 2 territory. See who is in at quarterback this time. Trey Person takes the direct snap, and he's going to pick up around five yards. They're going to mark him right at the 45, so we'll gain him, give him four yards on the play. So person in shotgun formation. 
Swing pass out. Going to lose yards on that. Loss of five. Pushes them back to the 50-yard line. Third down now. Snap is back. The give is to Kaysen Brock. He spins out of a tackle in the backfield and watch him accelerate. He's at the 25, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Region 4. Fifty yards on the touchdown. Twenty-six to sixteen now. Wow, that was impressive. So person in the shotgun, two receivers split to the right, two to the left. High snap, bobbled and fallen on. Two-point conversion, no good with a minute one remaining in the second quarter. 26-16, your score, region four on top. We'll be right back. And welcome back in. Great Crossing High School. Kick is taken at the 40. Looking for some room. Nothing there. He's going to get maybe a yard. Return by Wyatt Peters. Wyatt Peters on the return. 26-16. 56.5 seconds remaining. So Lucas Akers in at quarterback now. One receiver split wide to the near side, two to the far side. Takes a snap, going deep. This could be picked off. No, it's caught. Number 18, Wyatt Peters. Went up and strong-armed that out of the defender's hands. Results in a first down. The ball's at the 42-yard line. They're hurrying to the line of scrimmage. Under 40 seconds now. Again, same formation. Snap is back. Looking to throw. Down the left side. Again, it's caught. Down to the 22-yard line. 26 seconds remaining. And we have an injured player as Lucas Akers took a hit after the play was, as he was throwing the ball, I should say. He is up and walking off the field. So Mack will come into the ball game. 
and we're going to have a timeout. Timeout called by Region 2 as 26.3 seconds remaining before halftime. They think they can get into the end zone before time runs out. 26-16, your score. We'll be right back. And we are back to action here. Mack in shotgun formation. Two receivers near side, one to the far side. Snap is back. He fumbles in and falls on it. That's going to keep the clock running. 12 seconds. 10 seconds now. This will be the final play of the half, barring a penalty. Mack makes one man miss, keeps it himself. And he is out of bounds, but they will say Into the first half, we have region that two will do it. Two, so two quarters are in the books. Your score, region four, 26, region two, 16. We're going to take this break, and we'll be back.
And welcome back to Great Crossings High School as we get set for second half action. 26 to 16, your score, Region 4 on top of Region 2. Region 2 to receive the opening kick. It's taken down at the 19 yard line. So Region 2 trailing this one, 26-16. Region 4 jumped out to an early 20-0 lead before Region 2 cut it to four with two touchdowns and two two-point conversions of their own. But at the end of the second quarter, Region 4 responded to push it back out 26-16. to Lucas Akers tosses it out there. No one is home. Intended for Wyatt Peters. So second down and 10, the ball placed on the 19-yard line. So Mack in at quarterback now, tosses to number 22, Michael Logan. Michael Logan on the run, tackled by number 44, Keegan Stacy. He's going to pick up three yards. Excuse me, 44, Jeremiah Anderson. And now Lucas Akers checks back in. Akers under center, turns and tosses to Logan, puts a foot in the ground and makes a cut in the backfield, it gets down to the 25-yard line, but that's going to be about it, so that's going to bring up fourth and four yards. Logan on the run, short gain, that's going to go fourth and four. So Caden Mack checking back in at quarterback. Ten seconds left on the play clock. Now we're at five. He got it off just in time. They're going to be short on the play, so it's going to be a turnover on downs. So Region 4 is going to have excellent field position to begin their first drive of the second half. They're going to take over at the 27-yard line. Boone Godby in at quarterback now for Region 4. Takes a snap, drops back, looking to throw. Tosses it out there, and it's going to be caught and dropped. Into the hands of... Pass by Boone Godby incomplete. Brings up second and ten. Gavin Johnson was the intended receiver on that play. The 
The give is to Clay Akins. Penalty marker on the field. Be holding against Region 4, so that will back them up 10 yards from the spot. So second down now for Region 4. Two receivers far side. High snap. Picked out of the air by Godby. He tucks it. He's going to take off. He's at the 25. He's down to the 20 and driven out of bounds right there. Godby on the run. A gain of 15 on the plate. Brings up third and five. So third and manageable now for Region 4. High snap. And too many men on the field for Region 2. It's going to be a five-yard penalty. That's going to be enough for the first down. Legal substitution is the call. Five-yard penalty results in a first down for Region 4. So it will be first and 10 from the 15-yard line. Another high snap, this time over the head of Godby. Fumble on the play, recovered by Region 4. Godby did fall on it, though. Ten-yard loss on the play, a seven-yard loss on the play. Brings up second down. Region 4 has to get to the five-yard line to pick up a first down. All right, two receivers near side, one to the far side. Godby calls for the football. He's got it. Throws over the middle. It's going to be picked off. Coming out across the 20, 25, taken down at the 27-yard line. Reception on the play. Cooper Sir. Came up with the football. So the turnover on downs did not hurt Region 2. As they pick it off and bring it back to the 27-yard line. Akers in at quarterback. And we have a timeout called by Region 4. Defense was not set and ready to go, so they want to talk about things. So we will take a break as well. Be right back.
And welcome back to Great Crossings High School. Loss of four yards on that last play. Brings up second down and 14. Mack takes the snap, turns, gives to Michael Logan. He breaks some tackles. Still on his feet. Gets it out to the 34-yard line. So third down and three now. Brings up third down and three to go. Akers turns and gives to Logan. And he's going to be hit and driven backwards. Still on his feet, though. See where they give him progress to. Looks like he's got it. Yeah, calling the first down. <clears throat> I don't think they wanted to bring the broken chains into measure. I'm sure Region 4 is asking for them to measure that. They've already signaled first down. They've not moved the change yet, so. And now they are going to measure. It's across the line. And it is a first down. So it will be first and 10 for Region 2. Mack under center, turns, gives it to Michael Logan. He's across the 40, out to the 44-yard line. Logan on the run. Good overfield tackle by number 14, Colton Hitchman. Second yard on the carry, be second and three. Second down and three coming up now. One receiver far side. Again, they toss it to Logan. Has a hole. Goes through it. Crosses up to the 49-yard line. Logan on the run. It's going to be good for a first down.
Two men in the backfield. Mack under center. Turns. Gives to Stevens this time. He spins across the 45 down to the 43-yard line. As we roll under two minutes here in the third quarter. Akers back in at quarterback now. Takes a snap, turns, gives to Stevens again. He's across the 40. Down to the 39-yard line. Stevens on the run. Good enough for a first down. So that's another first down. It's ground and pound right now for Region 2, and they're finding success with it. It's a two-score deficit for Region 2 right now, 10-point game. Mack fakes the give. He sprints out to the left side, to the 40, and then out of bounds at the 37-yard line. That brings up second down and seven. Again, same formation. Akers turns and gives to Logan, who is hit and brought backwards. Number 72, Connor Blevins in on the stop. Under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Mack in at quarterback. Comes up under center. Turns, gives to Stevens. Bounces it to the outside. Now cuts back inside. Across the 30, down to the 27-yard line. That's good for another first down. Stevens on the run. Good enough for another first down, Region 2. Akers turns, tosses, Logan has the football, gets a block on the edge. He's at the 15, at the 10, he's going to be taken out of bounds at the 8-yard line. Logan on the run. Six and a half seconds remaining. Like run. Picked up 20 run. yards on that play. First and goal from the 8. Mack under center. Stevens and Logan in the backfield. Toss to Logan. Stretches it to the outside. Stiff arms one. But he is caught at the six-yard line, and that's going to do it for the third quarter. At the end of three, your score, Region 4, 26, Region 2, 16.
And welcome back to Great Crossings High School. Kevin Connolly along with you, bringing you the fourth quarter of the seventh grade championship game of the 2022 Battle of the Regents. Akers turns, gives to Logan, and he's going to be hit and falls forward into the end zone. Takes it in from six yards out for the Region 2 touchdown. So 26, 22. So Matt coming in under center, going for the two-point conversion. The turn, the toss is to Stevens. He's trying to get to the outside, but he is bottled up, and he is not going to get there. Kept twisting and turning. Didn't know he was going to fall forward into the end zone for the conversion, but it is no good. 8.54 left in the fourth quarter. Your score, Region 4, 26. Region 2, 22. And welcome back in, everybody. 26-22, Region 4 on top in this one. Onside kick, well, almost an onside. A little hard for an onside kick. But taken at the 40-yard line. So, Region 4 takes over at their own 40-yard line. Person takes the snap, gives on the inside. It's Case and Brock on the carry. Gain of eight yards on the play. Tough run by Brock. Gain of eight yards brings up second and two. Second down and two coming up now for Region 4. Injured player on the field. He seems to be up and moving around, so holding his shoulder a little bit. Ball on the ground. Picked, almost picked up by person. Now he dropped it and then fell on it. Loss of seven yards on the play. It brings up third down and nine. So 
Snap is back. This person has it. He keeps it himself. He's across the 50. Splits two defenders down to the 41-yard line. Showed some speed on that. They're going to mark him right at the 40-yard line. Twenty-six, twenty-two. your score. Region 4 on top. High snap. Ball is on the ground, and Region 2 has the football. Fumble on the play. Ball recovered by Region 2. 7 6 and this one is not over. We have a penalty marker on the field, however. Whichever official threw that has one of the best arms that I have ever seen. There's not an official within 20 yards of that flag. Let's see what the indication is. Unsportsmanlike against Region 2. Wow. So they'll place the ball on the 30. That backs them up from really good field position. So Akers in at quarterback to give. That's Michael Logan, and he loses the football. They're going to say he was down, however. So they're going to mark it as a loss of two yards on the play. So Mack in at quarterback now. Turn the give. That looked like Stevens. He's going to pick up about five on the play. Third down and seven coming up. We're rolling under six minutes left in this contest. Akers turns and gives to Logan. He's met right there at the line of scrimmage, maybe one yard. So fourth down. Mack bringing the play in from the sideline. Penalty marker on the field. Delay of game. So fourth down and 11 now. The ball's back at the 29-yard line. Mac face it, fakes the toss, keeps it himself, and is swarmed under at the 26-yard line. So that is where Region 4 will take over. 
with 444 remaining. Region 4 takes over in the fourth quarter. Region 4 with the stop take over on down. It'll be first and 10 from the 25-yard line. Looks like Person coming back in at quarterback again. He's from Corbin. High snap. He pulls it down. He's got some running room. He's going to take off to the right side at the 10, at the 5, and he is going to be out at the one-yard line. So 24-yard carry on a busted play from Trey Person. Twenty six, twenty two your score. Person takes the snap, takes it himself, gets into the end zone. The two-point conversion is good. Thirty-two twenty-two now. Well, they are going to replay it. I did not see the call. So, person, quick toss to the right. That's Kaysen Brock. He's going to walk into the end zone for the two-point conversion. Two-point conversion good by Brock. Four now. So, with 4.28 remaining, your score, 34-22. Region 4 on top. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Great Crossings High School. This is game two of the day, Championship Sunday, of the Kentucky Middle School Football Association Battle of the Regions. Region four on top in this one, 34-22 over Region two in the seventh grade game. Eighth grade this morning. It was 28 nothing. Region two defeating Region four. Four ten remaining. Loss of nine yards on that last play. Caden Mack stepping back in under center. Receiver split to the near side. 
Now motions this way. Mack tucks it, trying to get the edge. He does, but a penalty marker is down. Offside. So that will give Region 2 five more yards. So now it's second and 14. Mack tucks it again. He is hit and driven hard down. And that ball came out. We'll see if the they rule him down. So they're going to give him progress to the 39-yard line. So it'll be a loss of one yard. Akers in now. Receiver to the far side. High snap. Akers. And we have a timeout called by Region 2 before the snap. So with that, we'll take one as well. We'll be right back. Akers on the keep himself. He's going to lose yardage. Loss of two. That brings up fourth down. Two oh nine remaining. Thirty four twenty two your score. Region four on top. Two receivers near side, one to the far side. Mack dropped back to throw. Nobody there. Now he's got a man down there and it's caught. What a catch by number eight. See that number again. Eighty-three, Cannon Lawson, tied in from Connor, fingertip catch that time, plucked it out of the air, gets it down to the thirty-one, and that is good for a first down. Acres takes it to the. 29, gain of two yards on the play. Acres on the run. Tackle by number 22, Jaden Justice. One minute remaining in the game. One minute. Mack back in at quarterback. The give is to Hudson Stevens on the inside handoff. Nothing doing. And we have a timeout taken by Region 2. So that will take one as well. 34-22, 42.5 seconds remaining.
And welcome back. Akers tosses it out there and is broken up. Good defense that time by Miles Holland. Got his hands in there and dislodged the football. 34-22 is your score. Fourth and six. Snap is back. Mack looking to throw. He's got a man out there. It is going to be almost picked off, but broken up. Has broken up. Turnover on down. Broken up by number 14, Colson Eichmann. 31.5 seconds remaining. Region 4 will take over on downs. So they will line up in victory formation, and this will be... The final play, barring a penalty. Person takes the snap, drops to a knee, and that's going to do it. Your final score, Region 4, 32, Region 2, 22. So congratulations to Region 4 7th graders as they win the Battle of the Regions. Earlier today, it was Region 2 8th grade, 28 nothing over Region 4. So they were your eighth grade champions. So once again, we appreciate you joining us live from Great Crossing High School here in Georgetown, Kentucky for the 2022 Battle of the Region sponsored by the Kentucky Middle School Football Association. Once again, for everyone involved here in this production, I'm Kevin Conley. Have a great day, everybody.